Owls have the first five. Now down inside. Up and off the glass of two. Owls bench screaming for a special defensive adjustment, but too late. Bella Santoro ties the game. Talked about that coming down from the guard position. Wide open three ball. Can't leave that open. Emily Bramante. You got to take a gap dribble, get it into the gap, and then find the open receiver. Wide open Thornton from the corner. That's a two for Jada Thornton. Amal there. Haynes left open for a long three ball, knocks it down. Emily driving, drops it up. Oh, beautiful look inside, but blocked out of bounds. That was taken away. Back comes Patricia Conroy, right back down inside. Williamson fading away. Now Connors back down inside for Fresley. Kelly's a hustler. She gets alert rebounds, alert rebounds. And Toro driving and too strong at her own rebound. Scored. Ball there. Falling away, too strong. Another rebound for Fresley. Lost it on the deck. Picked up by Williamson. Baseline Connors had her shot blocked. Ball there for Conroy. On the curl, Connors driving. Oh, what a block by Kayla Raymond. Out of bounds. Raymond now Glidden. Back down inside. Kayla couldn't control it. Grabbed in the corner by Santoro. Now Kayla drives and scores. Fresley. On the curl, a mall bear and blocked out of bounds. Connors back down inside. Haynes, and that's blocked out of bounds. Megan Hill, third in the NHL in blocks this season, just under two per game. Southern Connecticut State lead is six. Skyhawks have not led in this game. Outside, wide open, Bramante knocks down a three ball. Lead back down to three. Wide open three ball thrown in by Alexa Kellner, who just came into the game. Solving the zone. Now a mall bear back down inside. Oh, Presley's left wide open. Scores. Another chance for the Skyhawks to cut into the deficit. Inside, squeezing it up and in. Score the basket for Bella Santoro and the foul. For Santoro, Bella driving. Got it to the corner, wide open, three ball won't fall. Offensive rebound, thrown back up and in by Kayla Raymond off the miss. Still again, needs help. Outside, Kelly will drive herself and score. Santoro for Glidden, Kayla Raymond baseline. Glidden was trying to set up on the block against Presley, couldn't get it there. Kayla Raymond falling away. Offensive rebound, Glidden. Turns on Kayla Raymond, gives it up to the corner, the three ball shooter, and that's Patricia Conroy, her second three of the night. And the Owls go back up four. Kayla Raymond, back outside, Kelly driving and scores! Oh, basket and the foul! <laughs> Kelly, here she comes again. Score the basket, and another foul on the Owls. <laughs> Stretched hands with Megan Hill. Williamson with four points, but right down the other end, Kayla Raymond. Kayla Raymond driving all the way through, step through and scores. Major League, Major League. What a play. On the curl for Connors, steps through and scores. Delaney Connors with 13 points, the three-point shot. The inbound Connors, Amal Bear, back outside Connors, lets it go at the buzzer, no good! And the Skyhawks will go to Waltham Sunday afternoon! Final score in the NE10 semifinal, the Stone Hill Skyhawks advance to the NE10 championship. Final score, Stone Hill 59, Southern Connecticut State, 56 and the Skyhawks are 3 and 0 in the postseason. All right, so anyway, I think it was last Friday we had this conversation about playing your last game on the floor. Weren't sure if you'd be back. Here you are. What happened in that second half? You had five points in the first half, 
it just looked like you just wanted the ball in that second half. Yeah, we talked a lot um, at halftime um, about our offense and where um, we would get looks in their zone, being able to penetrate, um, drawing defense, and then kicking it out, looking short corner. I think we got a few looks there. Um, and then Mia, Mia stepped it up second half, too. I'll tell you what. What was that? Tell me about the last play. Amal Bear was driving. Looked like she might have had some room, and then... That wasn't Mia's assignment, if I'm not mistaken, but she came across and knocked the ball away. Yeah, a little help there. That was great urgency. We, I don't know, we talked a lot about what we were just doing there and just being in help and getting a stop and turning the ball over. And it was a great steal by me. I think you told me that last time we chatted, a highlight here was two years ago when you won the NE10 championship. I don't know if this moves into second place or not. I know, and now we're going again, and I don't know, and to have another home game, and I don't think we were expecting that either. And the other night when we found out, I think yep. this was really good for our energy and for our, you know, momentum in the game. And, and you know who won the other game? What's that? that? You know who won the other game? Bentley did? Yep. Oh, let's so, go, let's go. Let's go. That'll be a good let's game. Let's go. So it's a nice short little bus ride to Waltham. Perfect. Perfect. And what a way to for you to continue and hopefully move into the NCAAs because that's right there for yeah, you too. We're ready. We're ready. For Con sure. Congratulations. That Thank was a lot of fun. Much. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. I talked about it during the game that defense wins. You've held three teams under 60 points yeah. in the yeah. playoffs and the defense uh, couldn't have been better than it was over the last, I don't know, say five minutes of the game with just everybody was digging it. What a rock fight for a while there. It was. Just great. It was. Fun to watch. That was a great playoff game for sure. And, you know, we didn't defend very well in the first quarter. And I, I thought we made really good adjustments and our kids really buckled down where I don't think we gave up a three in the second quarter. And I'm not sure how much we held them to. But that was, you know, that was definitely um, a difference maker in the first half. And I thought, you know, we ended the half with a stop. So just, you know, some great momentum swings for us, you yeah. know, happening on the defensive end for sure. Tell me about the last play. You're up three and they need a three you had only committed the two fouls right so the plan was obviously as we saw to yeah. just get a couple of ticks it seemed like the clock wasn't moving but i know i know and you know what <laughs> it's my bad we don't practice that enough like I, you know I, I would have loved to you know burn another second or two yeah. off the clock yes. but you know what they did exactly what we needed them to do we we took a couple seconds off so uh, and, you know, at the end of the game, Mia and Sophie Glidden, uh, what a stop she had to win the game for us. Let's, like, go, let's go over that last play when uh, Amal Bear was driving and then Mia was not. Was, was she the assigner there? Or yes, looked, yeah, she, so she was she just, Somehow she just stuck a hand in there. She, I, I mentioned it a couple of times during the game. I thought Mia Kelly was just tremendous on Amal Bear. As, as good as Amal Bear was, and yeah. she's had a, a good night scoring, I thought Mia Kelly just kept, really did a great job of holding her in check. No, she is a unbelievably talented player and an unbelievable scorer, as you saw. But I thought Mia really made her work hard. And, um, you know, where, where she was getting some open looks was, you know, bad switches or, you know, we were late to defend the three. But Mia, I, Mia had just on both ends of the court. She, what a game she had, she you sure know, did, like. Yeah. You know, just her going hard to the hoop, those back-to-back -back layups, those were such game changers and momentum swings. And, you know, then she knocks down the two foul shots, like playing like a junior who's been in a big game before, you know, and just stuck her nose in a poison. couple of times just among the trees and yeah. either pulled down a rebound or just knocked the ball loose. Yeah, uh, it was was terrific. So. I'm sure you already know it's on to Bentley now on yes, Sunday. I, I just heard that. At noon, they won by 10. Yeah. Um, we were watching that game. Looks like they pulled away in the last few minutes to win by yeah. 10. Yeah. So uh, how, how, many, how much, how good is this? An any 10 championship online and obviously an NCAA bid for whoever wins. Right, right. And big, that's, big uh, it's huge. It's a huge game. And, you know, just, you know, the Bentley Stonehill rivalry and, you know, our teams are very familiar and, Obviously, we uh, we got a really nice win up there the last time we played, but they're such a tough team that, you know, but but it, I wouldn't want it any other way. Like, this is Absolutely. just perfect Stonehill-Bentley for the championship. That's so, what it's all about. We've been yeah. there and done that in the past. Let's do it again. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, We're excited. Congratulations, Coach. That was fun. I'm glad we got a chance to do this one more time. Me too. Thanks so much, and thanks for uh, the support all year. This all right. has been, as always, a pleasure. Thanks, Coach. All right. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Great. Bye.